Hey guys, this is my video on how to study cardiology. So before you start, these are my recommendations. Make a table of valvular abnormalities and what you think the heart sounds and physical examination would be like under each abnormality. And also, what happens to the abnormality under certain maneuvers. And by maneuvers, I mean salva, squatting, etc. You should also print out a normal EKG and label each part, like the P wave, PR interval, QRS complex, R interval, T wave, ST segment, with how you think it could become abnormal. Your first phase of note taking should include valvular abnormalities and heart blocks. It might seem very easy to recognize these patterns, but you should really know um, exactly what the maneuvers are doing in terms of preload, afterload, and so on and so forth. Uh, for heart blocks, I recommend that you do not study the books first. Do not look at their descriptions and EKGs. What you should do is search for trillions of EKGs of heart blocks, establish that pattern recognition, and then hit the books. Phase two of your note taking. That should include electrolyte abnormalities, PEA, VTAC, VFib, and refractory, and refractory AFib. So a good way of studying this is if you draw the flow chart out uh, from the book or whatever, and you make your own essay about it, and then you don't look at the book, look at your essay, and then draw a flow chart from your essay, and do that like a couple of times. That is a really good way of reinforcing this material. So, note taking phase three. Spend one day on symptomatology and classic presentations of acute coronary symptoms. I would draw, or if you don't like drawing, print out a diagram of the four-chambered heart and guess what might happen if, even though the heart attack is treated, there are complications. Do not memorize any charts for differences between the different syndromes. That did not work for me. So you should know each case in its entirety. Note taken phase four is congestive heart failure. And you kind of need a sophistication of analysis that you might only get by studying everything else, meaning the other systems in internal medicine. So I would definitely see this for last. Um, and this you should also supplement extensively with practice question explanations. In your third or fourth pass of study, meaning after you have gone through the entire internal medicine three or four times, I would then only search for things like supraventricular tachycardia, A flutter, and A fib, just because when you have too much to process in terms of EKGs at one time and you haven't established yourself with anything, when you throw in the examples of SVT, A flutter, and AFib, it kind of makes you feel more overwhelmed. But once you've established your knowledge base of the other stuff very well and you and you then study and establish a pattern recognition for these three, it probably helps you process the information better. At least that was the case for me. And that you've reached the end of my lecture. Uh, please subscribe. It's free.